All right, people, welcome back. Another week of Vitamin Y. So we have a, a lot of scrambled Vitamin Y myths as of the past two weeks, but I definitely want to go ahead and get a set schedule. So I'm going to be trying to just, you know, play like usual, set schedule. Some decks will be, of course, changing because I'm liking some decks more than others. And I wouldn't get it down. But for one thing that's definitely staying, Mondays will, of course, stay as you well, I train. I really like this deck. It's really fun. And it has some synergy, you know. And when, when, I, when I find some synergy with the deck, you know, I totally don't mind continuing using it. So we're just going to keep on using this deck here on Monday. I know we had it on Friday, but I like I said, the only reason why we had it on Friday is because I wanted to try something on Monday. I really didn't get any input from you guys when it came to the lineup, but I don't know. My comment section has just been really, really weird lately. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with it, but as of late, it's just been really weird. So, yeah. I opened up with that tour guide, so I guess I'll just go ahead and go with the, the classic play. Then go ahead and grab um, Eris and XC into... Um, Oh my god, what the hell is the name of that card? Fortune Tune. Yeah. Because if I if I do Zen Mains, then of course Zen Mains can be targeted, so he can uh, cast it and, you know, shoo-shoo me away and I won't get my effect. Well, Fortune Tune, on the other hand, and I know I actually fucked up on Fortune Tune. I forgot that the effect was mandatory. I totally forgot that. I think he um, was actually burning his player by locals and he did the same thing. And yeah, the effect is mandatory to go ahead. Uh, this card center graveyard, I have to target two uh, level three monsters in my graveyard, return them both, shuffle them back both into the deck, and uh, return this card to the extra deck. So, that has to be done. But the thing that I like over this, over Castell, is that it can't be targeted. So the only way you can get, really get me is you gotta destroy me, and then I'll, of course I detach, and when I detach, but that does not activate the effect, I will get Aerith's effect. So, I can't simply just go into like, you know, like, for example, I don't know what the example is, like Levier or something. You know, it won't work. I finally went ahead and set some back row, which I guess is fine. So, I guess I'll, I guess it's my job to go on the offensive. Weird that my opponent went so defensive when all I have is a fortune tune. I don't know, it's catching me off guard. I'm wondering if I should go ahead and drop an Eris instead. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and drop an Eris. I think I'll drop a new bell, but. Really, for right now, I really don't feel like overextending. I, and I'm possibly, you know, with these mass commands, I might want to go ahead and black rose, so... We'll go ahead and just take the duel slow. Uh, I'm thinking about going ahead and act in getting a roar. No, not a roar. I, I want an emperor. Emperor for right now. I was looking at other people's Archfiend deck, seeing if there's anything I'm missing, but, you know, generally I got it, you know. Uh, some decks run three commander, some decks run two, you know. Uh, there's some decks that are ran over other. I... This card can't be targeted. So, it has to be Armageddon Knight. When this card is. F and, uh, I take 400. When this card is split face up, target one card your opponent controls. Yeah, so it has to be Armageddon Knight. Which is fine. It has to be Armageddon Knight, because this card can't be targeted. So, oh, and I gained 500 life points. Forgot about that. Fortune 10 effect. Uh, Fortune 10. Or chain to effect. That is mandatory. So you can tribute a monster and look at your opponent's hand and send one card from your hand to there. Alright, well, better show my hand. That sucks. Hate you, OE. Hate you. I'll open my hand. Go ahead and select the card and I'll go ahead and pitch it. It's fine. I can revive that from the graveyard, so. So, not the worst situation. I'm on get a night back because, you know, this is mandatory and the only target he could select is on get a night because Fortune Tune can't be returned. So he's going to go ahead and attack. So I will go ahead and detach the Eris from, from destruction and I actually do get my effect. As long as it's not something like detach to cost, cost to detach, then I will get the effect. So that's actually pretty good. And I guess, I mean, at this point, hmm, tough one. Sitting pretty decent right now. I guess I'll go ahead and get a commander. You know, I run two commanders and two cavalry because they're not the best of cards. They kind of rely on each other. So I don't want to clog them too much with other 
situations. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and black rose. Why not? Why not go mass chameleon summon back? So, oh, of course I gain 500 life points. That is a mandatory effect, so I cannot forget about that. It is mandatory. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and summon mass chameleon. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and be rose the field. Fuck it. You got all this fucking back rail. Fuck it. I'll clean it up. Yeah, that's fine. I want the heiress, clearly. They have zero defense. I would like the heiress. You're know, looking at my extra deck, but you can't really look at my extra deck. You just see I have 14 cards left. You can assume I have black rose, and I definitely do. <laughs> okay, you want Trentol and Summon. That's fine. So, chain resolves backwards. Chain resolves backwards, so I summon. Okay, so. Masculine, Chen resolves backwards, so I Torrental, you, no, you Torrental, then I summon, Chen resolves backwards. Yeah. Wait, Chen resolves backwards, so Torrental, Masculine, summon, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's right. Fine. Uh, yeah, that's really it for my turn, that's all I got, go ahead. I was like thinking, I was like messing up a chain, I'm like, wait, 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 no, wait, no, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. chain resolves backwards. So it's rental, then I summon. That's fine. Guess it was smarter, smarter than allowing me to go for black rails, because you probably saw it coming from a mile away, so that's fine. Ooh, that crank ring, though. See those two and two. Then, okay. Uh, do I have two? I do not. I have two. I have two. I, I have two. So, you go back to the deck. You go back to the deck. You go back to the extra. And shut. Hmm. I mean, fuck it. We'll just go ahead and summon Calvary and, and start pushing. I'm not gonna set anything. I'm just gonna allow you to go ahead and pop one of the two. Because I really don't care. Alright, I have six cards in hand. End face. Your effect. Sure. Go ahead. I like being destroyed. Oh, you're gonna sell in the morning. I'm summon. That's fine. Yeah, they got Torrental, Sell the Morning, all in the first couple of cards. All in his opening hand. Go ahead and give me another Calvary. I said I'm not even going full on offensive yet. I might go ahead and try to push for that Black Rose again. Hmm. I push for that Black Rose. Zen mains will of course detect. Yeah, right now would be a good time to go ahead and push for the Black Rose again. So did you get bottomless too? You got Toronto, you got Warning. So you got bottomless too? Of course I'm going to summon Eris again. Synchro Shokan. Black Rose. So, wipe your field. I said I like when you have like no card there. Okay. Alright, I'm done. I have too many cards in the hand, so that's a pitch, and 
uh, Zen effect. Zen effect to destroy itself. So not only did I get Nefari Touch and Nefari Sense in the graveyard where I like him, but also I'm just destroy your Zen mains. Not bad, not bad. See, he's kind of fun this decade, so I'm having a lot of fun in this duel. This duel is actually pretty cool. I require more monsters. Oh, I got the plays for days, huh? Well, probably have that coming. I could, I mean, I could take it slow and just go ahead and pitch you Bell. Yeah, you know what? I'll take a, I'll take duels a turn slower and get you Bell in the graveyard. I only run one Dark Greffer, so unless I get that one Dark Greffer, I'm really not doing anything, so. I'll take the duels turn slower, just to go ahead and get set up with the bell. There we go. Now I can go on the offensive, which is what I like to do. So, I guess I'll go ahead and summon Calvary. And of course, if you destroy me, then I will get my set, so. Or you could take this 19. And I guess I'll go ahead and start setting cards now. Now I'll start setting cards, because I was just waiting the Black Rose before I set anything. Now I'm in control of the duel. <laughs> I have to say, oh, if I summon another monster, I'm going to get Torrental, but he already used Torrental this duel, so I have to worry about that. Uh, I guess I should start pushing. Start pushing. Start going balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep. <laughs> I like the fucking Cleveland show. Oh, I've been seeing that song a lot lately. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, think about someone I'm going to get a Night Descending. Yeah, it would be the same thing. They already used the warning, so bottomless, you can't bottomless me. You can compulse me, but fuck. Chain. Fuck you still, okay, okay. So I don't save you. Break your skill, ain't gonna save you. Break your skill, ain't gonna save you. Ooh, can I cowboy? Should I cowboy? I don't want cowboy. I'd rather hold on. I don't want cowboy. I'd rather go ahead and hold on to the cavalry. There's no need for me to cowboy. Do I even run cowboy? Yeah, I do. He's right there. That was that was a good duel. That was a good duel. It's not, I, feel, I feel good when I'm in control of duels. It's like, yes! <laughs> we'll get one more duel. Oh my god, look at that rating. Hell no. Get the kid out of here with that good experience. Your rating may be low, but you got that experience. You clearly won your handful of duels, and you're going to beat my ass. Like, no thank you. <laughs> Let's keep it low. Oh my god, Penguin Soldier. <laughs> I was like, we're doing against penguins again, people. Are we doing against penguins? Like, there is no way. And I'm taking you the archons off right now. I'm having way too much fun with this deck as of late. Huh. Didn't open up bad. Take it slow, of course. Go ahead and set that uh, Eris and pass. Even though I have a feeling that with no extra deck, my opponent here is either using Monarchs or is going to use something sacky. Uh, of course. Of course. I should have known. I should have known. Mm, that's a tough one. Because I would really like to just go ahead and hold on to you, but... Mm. Hmm, that's a tough one. Yay, something sacky. So, just sit here and watch you play with yourself. Sounds fun. What's up with people using sacky ass decks? I said, Royal Magical Library should be banned. It's clearly stupid what my opponent is doing here. I said he would de be, be he would be zero and out with cards like this. Dark World Darling is an egg. Uh, Toon Tables is, is a zero because you play a card, you get a card. But because of Royal Magical Library, he's going to be plussing unnecessarily. It's stupid. It's stupid. Royal Magical Library should be banned. No. I said I, I thought he was either going to be a playing something sacky or maybe playing Monarchs because of course no extra deck. Fun fact, did you know that Cleese can play fucking Monarch cards? I think that's crazy, you know? I have one card that's like, oh, if you control a tribute summon monster and they get all monstrous effects on the field, so I say, what? Like, you know, and their freaking failed spell that's coming out in their structure deck, it's like, oh, well, you know, if you tribute summon monster and you don't control an extra deck, then, uh, fucking, uh, your opponent can't summon from the extra deck. It's like, Cleese can play that. <laughs> like, that's crazy. That's crazy, you know? That's crazy. I'm trying to keep you guys entertained, but... Wow. 
Really, that's as far as you take it. I am very disappointed in you, sir. I thought you were going to take it farther. I might go ahead and just summon Emperor, just to have him in the graveyard. And push for more. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Push for more. Back for a thousand? Like, wow, I really thought you were going to go more than that. That's very disappointing. That's 15. This is a thousand, so. We need a thousand more. Why are you gaining life points? God damn it, why'd you fuck up that math? Did he take any damage so far? No. I guess that's right, I don't know. I just said, you're all fucking it up. You made it fucking complicated for no reason. So these two. And Emperor dies. I, you paid a thousand for. Yeah, you paid a thousand for two table. And then you take twenty five. Yeah, that math is right. Oh, well, should have activated fucking uh, waste of stone the face. No, oh, that's fine. I can still activate Emperor Shore. That'd only be three thousand though. Oh, okay, so I can summon Math Twin. Not activate his effect and push for game. Yeah, fuck it. This duel sucks, but fuck it. There's no effect. On the battle phase, attack for a thousand. So I have no idea what fucking deck you're running, but you're boring me. My question is should I overextend and activate this roar and, you know, try to push for more? Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll go ahead and try to wrap this duel up. You bore me. I don't know what deck you're playing. I thought you were just going to play with yourself with Royal Magic Library, but you end up stopping. Like I said, Royal Magic Library is a sacky card. You either bust it out and go stupid with it first turn, first turn with fucking, uh, you know, Chicken Game OTK or fucking Ignites or something, or you get no real use out of it. It's a zero attack monster. It was never meant to be someone in attack mode and go stupid with it. You're supposed to maybe stall out with it, play a spell card every once occasionally, and draw a card. You know, you weren't supposed to go spell, draw, spell, draw, spell, draw, spell, draw, spell, draw. No, that's not how it works. It's three thousand. Sure, sure. Like, get me out of here, people. Get me out of here. That was boring. I'm not gonna end the video like that, people. Not when I get to use one of my favorite U-Bell decks here on the Vitamin Y. Sure, you're my last opponent for this video. So, definitely you are trees. Now, tomorrow, that's a good question, you know. Should I keep, should I keep, uh, Vibrodite? You know, like I said, it takes a lot of setup. You know, if the Levable Chain comes off banned, then it will definitely, definitely be one of the decks that stays on Vitamin Y. But, you know, without the Levable Chain, I'm just not too sure. I might keep it just because it's a lot of fun. I might keep it. You know, I might keep it. You know, so we'll probably try that out tomorrow. Uh, decks that I definitely want to put on Vitamin Y, of course, Great All Ybell, because I want to try more of that. And and Shadal Ybell, because, you know, it's Shadal's, and like I said, you won't find Shadal's anywhere else on the channel. Mm, interesting. Calvary with the Falling Down. Of course, Calvary is a 1900 beater, so you got to kill my 1900 beater, and I'll get to keep my, uh, or I'll get to keep your monster. Hmm. And open up two fantastic. Yeah, I opened up a cat. The mass chameleon with the cavalry. You know, those two have synergy, so that's fine. And the falling down, like I said, generally I would like to see falling down more often, so it's not a terrible plan to open up with it. So, so Dean that was with snatch steel. So that's not bad. Hmm. All right. Well, we're going up against Denkwall that deck. Well, this should be fun, and by fun, I mean absolutely not fun. You know, you would think that, you know, I would love fucking Master Heroes because they're based off of Common Runners, but when it's literally just Dark Law, Dark Law, Dark Law, Dark Law, Dark Law, Dark Law, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like my shit being banished, and I don't like you just sitting behind Dark Law. 
Damn. Just Dark Glow with three back row. Fun. Oh, and you're just gonna special summon Bubble Man for no reason. Okay, I guess. I'm gonna summon Calvary. Okay. If something happens to this Calvary, then I fucking lose because I didn't open up well enough to duel against this deck. No, and I'm weak to it too. Alright. Alright. GG. GG. One more duel. One more duel. Like I said, I want to have fun with this deck, not duel against fucking Darklaw.deck. Fucking summon Darklaw, put your helmet on. I, mean, I like what heroes used to be, not what they have become. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not doing Evil Hero, you bet me one. Because Evil Hero sucks, and then I'm going to turn it into Dark Law, that deck with fucking, you know, Shadow Myth, and I don't want to do that either, so. Wow, this is a terrible opening hand. Guess I'll take it slow. I mean, hold on, I mean, hold on. Right. Huh. So you so, so, so used to people typing. So, um, uh, that, that was not a habit. Terrible opening hand. Really? I said the best thing I could have done was just summon Emperor and then let him die and then have revival for him, but it's just like, mm. I said I'll take the, just, I'll have the Regeki, so, you know, yeah, if he OTKs me, or slash FTKs me, then he got it, but, you know, hopefully, you know. I said Armageddon Knight, Aeris, there's a handful of cards that are just like, yeah, I can I can deal with that, but I just did not open up well to seal. But knowing my luck, I want an Armageddon Knight, Dark Graph or Aeris or something, I'll probably draw into like you belt and be like, oh well, great, thank you. Can't do anything with that. Damn, I just wanted one more good duel. Just one more good duel. Mm. All right. Well, I'm probably gonna lose this duel because if he is playing the OCG synchros, you know, the Beal and the stuff like that, then he could probably game me. Mm-hmm. 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 Cards on the screen, especially someone level 4 over and monster from your hand. Period. Interesting. Think 7. Clear wing? No crumb. Think 8? Or are you just gonna leave it like that? Oh, Institution for Noden. Yep. Oh, I mean, I'm probably gonna get OTK'd. But if I survive, then I have the Redeki, so, you know, I can at least come back into this duel. So I guess we'll just end with the video with this guy going stupid because Noden is stupid. Noden is stupid. Like, I don't even want this card to exist. Instafusion's already busted because it gives you an additional summon, which life points for resources all day, people. All day, but then Norton summons additional monster too. It's just stupid. It's just stupid. I'll just sit here and watch this guy touch himself and play with himself, and I'll probably end up losing this duel. He'll probably end up OTK me, FTK me. Stupid too. Good thing it's that one. Draw a card. It should be one monster and target one red arch fiend launch in your grass. I should summon it. So you can tribute him, summon your red eyes guy back, attack me with fucking a, a copious amount of damage, and this effect will go off for summon one special summon two tuner monsters, one from your deck and one from your graveyard. The same level, defense position, then 
Maybe you can have some more shenanigans during phase two. But Noden is dumb. This guy is dumb because he deserves to be at one. Talking to Renny and he's like, can this go up multiple? Like, no. You summon two of those, you get the pot of greed every time you sink or summon? Like, you're supposed to neg when you sink, not fucking draw more cards. Like, oh, never mind. Never mind. You can just go ahead and summon him and use his effect, the all effect, tribute him, go ahead and summon him. I believe that might be game. What's your effect? This card is sent from the field to the graveyard. You can target one red there, march near your graveyard, accept this, and add it to your hand. Yep, get your red back. There's no Bial effect this game, I lost. You OTK'd me. FTK'd me. I said I, I, was, I, I said I wouldn't be surprised if he's gonna FTK me, and I drew around to the card that I wanted to get to. No thank you, I'm done. I'm done, people. I was like, oh, I'll take it slow. I got the Regeki, so as long as he doesn't OTK me, so I FTK me, then I'll be great. No, he's just gonna OTK me, so I said FTK me, like, yeah. No, the, the note additional summoning, like I said, like I said. Instant Fusion is already a powerful card because you pay life points for another additional monster to go ahead and Synchro Summon or Exceed Summon. But then when Noden summons an additional monster in the graveyard, that's when it gets stupid. It's kind of like why, the reason why everybody hates Teller Knights because of Altai Air. It's essentially the same thing. You know? And it doesn't cost you your normal summon either. Fine. Okay. Noden's coming out soon. Yep. Coming in them in September, Tins, right? Yep. October, September. I don't know when Tins are coming out, so yeah. But hey, it seems it seems it seems like it's gonna sync up, you know, the ban list with the Nodenton, so maybe they'll go ahead and be like, hey, you know, maybe we should put Infusion down to one. Listen, Infusion's always been kind of a dumb card ever since fucking uh, uh synchro summoning, because of course it gives you additional monster to go ahead and sync with. And then Xyz it was stupid, so and then Noden is stupid, so yeah, Infusion to one, just like an OCT. Anyway, we'll go ahead and call up So tomorrow I'll probably use Labradorite, like I said. Uh Without the marble chain, the deck seems kind of slow, but it just seems like it, you know, Mr. Tomato helps. And like I said, I love going the the Labradite plays and the and the, the Ultimaya plays. It's just fun, just fun. You both sees I'll probably take off because that deck seems like it's getting kind of dry, kind of boring, and it takes too much setup, and it requires me. It doesn't. It requires me to draw particular cards, unlike just like, oh, well, if then the graveyard, I can revive them and you have synergy. Like, it requires me to draw particular cards. Like, I have to have my revival set up, and I have to have my level of my joy, so I'm not doing anything, so you bucks these will probably get taken off of here, uh, off of Lime and Y, and maybe your places like Shadal Ubel, or Greater Ubel, then, um, then Cosmic Ubel will probably get replaced. And then Friday, I want, to, I want to revive Ubel work so bad, but like I said, with Hall of All Chain, it just seems slow and inconsistent. And sometimes I open up well, and sometimes I don't. And I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I might just keep Supervised just because it's my favorite U Bell deck, and I might keep it on here. But like I said, I definitely feel U Bell Seas and Cosmic Gear are going to get taken off for Great All U Bell and Shot All U Bell. That's what I feel right now. Uh, but at U Bell, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Even with U Bell, I give up on. Umber U Bell, I, I'm just not sure how I feel about that deck either. I think maybe we'll have to try that deck a little bit more, but I'm not sure how I feel about that deck either. But for now, I'm done. But just know, you both is here to stay. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, see you guys tomorrow with, I guess we'll go ahead and try out uh, Labrador, you and see how I feel about that deck some more. Alright people, thanks for watching.